In this tutorial, I'm going to be introducing the Q checkbox widget. This should be a reasonably straightforward tutorial after the last one, and there isn't really much new. We'll be um, showing how we can check whether the checkbox is um, toggled or not, and then using that value to print something to a label. OK, so now for our program. This is almost like a skeleton for us at the moment. Um, we've got a label, we've got a button, we've got a layout. We add the label and the button to the layout. We add the layout to our widget. We show the widget. We set up an application um, loop. We create our, our window and then we run our loop. And at the moment it does do something. Not much. Push me. Uh, there's nothing for the label because I haven't set the text of the label at any point. Okay, not very interesting because we're interested in the Q checkbox. So the first thing I'm going to do is self dot um, checkbox, and we're going to equal a Q checkbox. Now in parentheses here, the Q checkbox has that little square that we click on, and we either have a cross or a tick depending on the operating system and um, next to that we have a label so what we're going to do we're going to put our label in here and the label will go to the right and I'm going to put do you like dogs question mark and so now what this will do this will print a Q check box with do you like dogs now I want to add this to my layout and I want the Q checkbox to be between the label and the button, so the order I do it is important. So I'm going to add self dot um, my checkbox, and now actually it's not come up there because I want that to be a H as well. Okay, so I've got my Q checkbox there, and I can actually run this just so you can see. So look, we've got this. I can click it, unclick it, click it, unclick it, push this. Doesn't do anything at the moment. Okay, so now what we've got to do is make it so that when we click on the button, it does something. So let's just do that here. So we want to go for self um, button clicked. And then we want to get rid of that, connect. And then I want to take quite a bit of information with me. So I want to take a lambda function. And I want it to call, as we've been doing so far, a, a method called button click. And in button click, I want to take um whoops, I want to take the value of the checkbox um, so look I've got this checkbox and is checked I want to so what will happen if the checkbox is checked that will be um, evaluate to true if it's not been checked it will evaluate to false I also want to take the whoops want to take the label with me as well okay so now what I want to do is create the um, the slot so obviously this is our signal and the slot is button click so we're going to call that button click and it takes self we also I'm just going to take this thing called check which will I want to know whether it's true or false and I want to take my label and I could say if check is true but I don't need to do that I want to know does that evaluate to true well, it's kind of bonkers because check is either going to be um, true or false so I can just say if check if checks enough and if check we want to change the label to set text and let's see say I guess you like dogs and else, it's all quite profound. Um, we want to change the label, set text, um, dog hater then. Okay, 
Um, let's see, I think we've got everything there. Let's run that. There is our thing. Push me. Dog hater then. We didn't say we like dogs. Click it. Push it. I guess you like dogs. Really quite simple. Not much to it. Hope you found that helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing. I've included a link to the code that I've used in the video below in the description. Stay in infield with Winfield.